Hey everyone, it's Kit Nicole and it's May and we're just a few days into it but it is time for the Operation Christmas Child item of the month and for today's video the item of the month is hygiene items. So hygiene items are actually a really important thing to include in shoe boxes if you're new to packing. Uh, because sometimes where these boxes are going, access to these items can be a little bit hard to get. To get. Sometimes they're very expensive. Um, but yeah, so when you go out shopping, keep an eye out for deals on various hygiene items. So uh, this bag here, I brought a bar of soap. And I've also included a soap saver that I got off of Amazon. What's nice about the soap savers is that um, they, well, with the string, they pull clothes, clothes. You can have it around your wrist. Uh, the mesh that's around the soap, I can use it to lather up and help scrub yourself. So it just helps the soap to last longer. And also for some areas where, say, they're uh, washing in like open water, uh, because it's on the wrist, it helps uh, get, from getting lost in the water if, it, if they drop it. Um, one tip I have for soap, I know soap is a little bit of a controversial thing uh, to include nowadays because it's kind of like either one, uh, they have been known to like melt in the boxes because sometimes it's like so hot and humid where they're going. Um, and then there's another issue with mold. So I put the soap inside a bag, uh, just one to help keep it in case it melts, to help keep it contained. Uh, but in terms of the mold, um, I think one theory I have behind it is it might have to relate to the paper that's on the soap. Uh, especially with this particular one, it was a multi-pack. I opened it up, I was going to start tossing them into these uh, Ziploc bags. And I noticed that the paper felt kind of moist. Uh, thankfully, this was like a couple months ago where it was still winter and very dry up here. And I just kind of left them out overnight in the morning. They felt much more dry. So I feel a little more comfortable keeping these in. Um, so I guess when you're storing them, try to keep them in a dry place, not much moisture. That's basically all I can suggest for it. Um, I think, and also check your local OCC guidelines. In Canada, there's not much guidelines in terms of soap. You don't have to put it in a bag. I just think it's better in case of melting issue. Uh, I think in the States, though, they require it to stay in their original packaging. So they need to stay in the paper or box or whatever it came in. Um, and it needs to show the expiry date, which to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen on a bar of soap up here. But anyway, so that's just some things to keep in mind. On another note, here's this little hygiene kit that I've put together. So we've got a toothbrush um, plus a cap, little comb, little nail clipper. There's an emery board in here and some band-aids. Now the band-aids, I picked up a multi-pack and I tried to divide it up evenly between all the kits. So there's several different sizes, which is okay. But yep. Yeah. So this is one example of a little kit that you could put together. Uh, I used a 2x8 cellophane bag and that works really good for uh, this size of toothbrush. One thing I'll suggest is when including toothbrushes, uh, try to get the, like for the age range of like 2 to 9, uh, try to get the smaller ones uh, just because like kids mouths are smaller at that point in time. I know there's some with gross words, but for the majority, uh, try to get the much smaller toothbrushes. And for myself, uh, when I'm packing the older kids, then I'll get the like adult size brushes because that's when you see a lot of growth within the with the kids. So that's just my tip. Watch your toothbrush sizes. And yeah, that's everything that I have in mind. Oh yeah, what I didn't bring up with me today uh, some other hygiene items you can include are uh, washcloths and for the older girls, the 10 to 14, 
Uh, you could also include some reusable menstrual pads. Uh, you can actually find some good uh, deals on them on Amazon or if you're a little more crafty into sewing, uh, there's a lot of good uh, tutorials on how to make your own to include in your boxes. Uh, but for that age range, it's actually kind of important, especially when you start looking up uh, things about period poverty. It's something to keep in mind uh, for that age group. So yeah, those are just some of my suggestions. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And I promise I'm going to be uploading some, I guess, I'm going to say boxing up videos because they're not really, I don't have time to do an unboxing video. So I'm just filming as I'm filming as I'm filling up the boxes, but I've got my iPad here. I'm going to be editing uh, those shortly. I filmed a bunch last month, just haven't gotten around to it. So stay tuned. I will be getting those out shortly. And yeah, that's everything. And I hope your packing season, your, your, yeah, your shoebox packing is going well. And I'm looking forward to keeping an eye on the boxes that everyone's packing. They're great inspirational videos. So have yourselves a good day. And that's it. I'm filming this on May 4th, so happy Star Wars Day. I think this is going up May 5th, so happy Revenge of the Fifth Day. Whatever. Happy Star Wars Days. Happy shoeboxing. And stay blessed. Bye.